What do you think of when you hear the word church? It will trigger different things for each one of us. Does it draw to mind a building, bricks, mortar, stone, stained glass windows with images broadly unknown? Does it make you think of religion, of ritual, of robes? Does it make you think of the biggest institution on the globe? Does it make you think of guilt and shame that it specialises in? Does it make you think of strange language and how they always talk of sin? Does it bring to mind newspaper headlines and make you want to run? of abuses covered up by priests who preach about love. Perhaps it's just irrelevant, a thing of the past, a crutch for the needy, but it's not going to last. Maybe it's anti-scientific, just a bastion of tradition, unable to engage in the real world, blindly clinging to its mission. It's a chequered history of good and bad, and so it brings up many things. But what about the original design, the original blueprints? Imagine a place where people cared for others more than themselves, where they poured their lives out for the sake of everyone else. Imagine a place the sick were healed and the lonely found a home, became part of a family like it was their own. Imagine a people who had a purpose bigger than just them, a people who knew a man risen from the dead, who chose to live their lives on every word he said, who washed each other's feet following the example that he set, Imagine a people who cared and prayed and listened to every need, who chose to sacrifice their rights and love their enemies. A people who took strangers in, who stood up for the weak and least, who shared their lives with one another, laugh and cry together, celebrate and feast. Imagine a people who stood up against injustice and championed what was right, even when it cost them everything, they wouldn't compromise a people so moved with conviction and compassion that they would never give up their fight, but their weapons were love and service and mercy. Imagine they were so kind that the world took note, that cities and countries were different, not because of a vote, but change was felt and their voice was heard because their actions spoke a people who knew their frailty and knew they couldn't do it on their own, but found in the soil of their weakness was where God's power was sown and grown, truly known. What would you call a place like that? It's not a building made of stone. If it were, the stones would be people who see they can't do it alone. How would you find a place like that? What would you write in the internet search? Whatever your preconceptions, this is Jesus's definition of church. That's the lane we're running in, our blueprint, track, map. And it happens through you and me and 10,000 little acts.